Good morning, Modern Farmers. Welcome back. We have some new mods today and a brand new map. And that map was in the mod contest. So let's get into this and see what we got. Make sure you hit that show all mods button. Scroll over to latest. Uh, first off, we have the... Uh, let's see, we had new mods from this week. So, let's see, we had a couple updates. Uh, new Woodshire was an update. It's now seasons ready. New ground textures, new grass. Rework of the meadows, many landscape improvements, more vegetation, sound rework, and port cell station for trains now also available for tractors. New biogas plant buildings because of tex texture issues, two buildings exchanged, and traffic speed increased. Okay, the Pacific Northwest 19 map, uh, they did an update on this. Uh, I do believe it's now seasons ready if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, we had. Ober Krebach. Now that update was now seasons updated. Okay. We also had the placeable steel silo. Uh, price was 50,000 euros. Maintenance 60 euros a day. Capacity 320,000 liters. Okay. Uh, let's see. Also had the Flegel DPW pack. Price is 16,000 euros and 10,000 euros. Uh, we had the Garant Planner Supra H. This implement is used for more than one thing. It can be used to push silage or any other things like grains or wood chips. It's also, it's also useful in a forest. The implement has the option of moving up and down and spining the dozer blade using mouse control or joystick. Price is a thousand. You also have the ITS Lemkin Pack update. Uh, they added the Compactor S300 uh, seed bed combination. Models include the Compactor S300, Zircon, Zircon, uh, and a Dolomit 9, all 3 and 4 meters, and K4, K5, and K600. Okay. Uh, the Manitou MC, uh, with its curves and distinctive black and red colors, the MC truck will delight you with its comfort and ease of use, but also with its design. The Duplex Mast FVD33. Price is 37,000 euros and lifting height is 3.3 meters. Duplex mast FVD 37. Price is 38,100 euros. Lifting height 3.7 meters. The FD, FVD 45 is 39,900 euros. Lifting height 4.5 meters. Wheel variants. Midas uh, TR09. Midas TR09 Twin. TRI2. And a Nokian TRI2 twin, Trailborg TH400 and Trailborg TH400 twin. Okay, let's see. We have the homemade cage. The loading plate is used to transport pallet, soil, timber, or other types of cargo. Its construction and design ensures use, ease of use. The indispensable for any farm or company dealing with municipal, forestry, or related services. Price is 2,000 euros. Working width 1.6 meters. Also had the Annaburger HTS 29.79 Multiland Plus. Uh, contains basic chassis, Ecoliner, and GFK tank module. It's a Annaburger HTS 29.79 changeover system. Properties, moving pole, basic chassis, changing extension, basic chassis, changing color, all, configurations all, and combi, tipper, Ecoliner. Okay. Uh, we have the Wilhelmina Forest update. They fixed the ice plane so it does not have a collision when seasons is not active. This fixes the sculpting tool so it can change the land. The water is no longer a solid. They added seasons mask and added frozen water during winter. And they fixed the sawmill cell points to accept bio bales. Okay, that's cool. We have the uh, Adder Adderant tea pack. Uh, 200 without sides. Four sides, three sides, wood transport, and bale trailer. Capacity 45,000 liters. And the three sides is capacity is 35,000 liters. Uh, you got the wood transport and the bale trailer, round or square bale. Change log. They added new tires and updated the rims. Fixed game update changes. Clean log file. Improved stability for automatic bale loading and log transport. And improved the detection of the attached vehicle to control the speed and reverse. Uh, the Komatsu 895 clam bunk is the biggest and most robust forward Komatsu can give you. 
This one is fitted with a clamp bunk for skidding trees to the landing. This allows the use of a feller buncher instead of a harvester when cutting trees. It has some configuration that can be really useful for both for the looks and for use. It comes with a blade and a grill guard in front. Working uh, comfort ride. Yes, you read right. The 895 having a working comfort ride. Comfort ride is basically suspension in the whole cab. When you drive the machine, you will feel that everything is more smooth in bumpy areas. There is also added an extra camera for the crane, so you can look at, e at either the left or right side of the crane when loading. Specifications. Horsepower. 263 to 286 horsepower. Comfort ride. Suspension in the whole cab. Load rating. 20,000 kilograms. Decking blade and engine grill guard. Price is 300,000. Okay. We have the Wilhelmina Forest. I think I went over that already. Yes, I did. Okay. We have the grain silo set with multi-fruit. Like, for example, RDC-19. That has the multi-fruit on it. This set contains two silos and three silo extensions. Adapted Giants modules. Models, rather. All silos are seasons ready. Extra large grain silo. Price is 250,000 euros. Capacity. 375,000 liters per fill type. Upkeep. 60 euros a day. Fruits fill type. Category farm style wheat, barley, canola, maize, oat, sunflower, soybean. The extra large multi fruit silo price is 270,000, capacity 375 liters per fill type, upkeep 60 euros per day. Fruits fill type category bulk depends on the played map. Large multi fruit extension 100,000 euros, capacity 100,000 liters per fill type, upkeep 25 euros a day. Fruits fill type category bulk depends on the map. Small silo extension, 60,000 euros, capacity 750,000 liters per fill type, 15 euros a day. In the fill type category, farm silo, wheat, barley, canola, maize, oat, sunflower, soybean. Okay. We have the free lamb bunker silo. Free standing silos are used for storing and fermenting chopped products. Okay. We have the Old Stream Farm, that's an update. They added the Snow Mask for Seasons mod. Minor changes and corrections, optimized placeables for console, fields can now be bought separately, and new save game required. They also added the bale trigger for wood chip bales at the sawmill, fixed BGA trigger, fixed grass error on the field 34, fixed the problem where trees disappeared in the farm, fixed the interior texture in the ETA, fixed light arm, fixed water plane, fixed straw trigger for the cows, fixed invisible collision in the ETA, replaced the decorative grass, real grass in the free zone, Added more lights on the building's farm and added automatic lights on the farm. That's cool. And last but not least, our new map of the day, Mini Brun. This was in the uh, mod contest. It's a mini map for the lovers of small agriculture machinery and all who want to become one of them. But if you like, you can also start with the Big Bud. The map offers all FS19 features except a drivable train on a 65 area acre playground. The fields are basically helper friendly. I have tried to give the helper as much space as possible, but due to the narrowness, it can happen that the helper has difficulty recognizing or turning over the fields. A headland is a good option in this case. For fields with trees, it is advisable to always start the helper at the tree side. Because of the many changes, a new save game is required. Have fun in the Idiolac Mini Brun. Features Seasons Ready, 18 fields and 2 meadows between 0.5 and 2.5 acres. The fields can be easily shared into larger ones. Forest areas with about 7 acres forest area. Biogas plant. 8 selling stations for all standard fruits. With or without courtyard buildings and vehicles. Depending on the level of difficulty. AI pedestrian and traffic. 2 water holes. 2 lime silos as well as permanently installed silos for seeds. Fertilizers and herbicides. And a mission system including transport mission. So we're going to be doing a map tour on that as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but that's about it for all the, uh, uh, which one call it? All the, uh, mods for today. Uh, oh yeah, we also had an update on the placeable storage style as well. I forgot about this. Store your seeds, fertilizer, and lime here. The update was the animation was added at the door and product download area. Updated the version to 44. The intensity of the lights has been slightly increased. Corrected the description not being entirely correct. Increased silo height to prevent collision with larger implements. Added anti-collision red light, red night light. Adjusted the collision area. 
add a collision to the gate of the unloading area, and the power of the satellites has been intensified a little. So, that is it for all the new mods and the new map today. Stay tuned for our map tour coming soon.